How old is the universe? Thousands? Millions? Billions? What is the science behind the dating methods used to determine age? We'll find out now on Wonders Without Number. This was a shocker to me as a, as a new Christian, um, beginning to encounter some evidence. And the uh, shocker was that most dating methods give you a young world, really? thousands of years, not billions of years. About 90% of all the ways you could estimate the age of the earth give you something much less than billions of years. Wow. And only 10% are the things that everybody has heard about. Galaxies wind themselves up too fast. The outer parts of the galaxies rotate slowly, okay. whereas the inner parts rotate very rapidly. Okay. So uh, after a while, this should stop having any spiral arms and uh, just be a smooth disk of stars. Comets, they crumble too quickly. Okay. Uh, they're supposed to be five billion years old. Uh, they're dirty snowballs and the gas that's coming off into the tail never comes back to them. So they lose 5% of their material with every pass around the sun. Okay. So they can't last forever. And their lifetime in the solar system for the short period comets that go mm. around quickly is less than 10,000 years. Mm. Seafloor mud accumulates too fast. Secular geoscientists and creationist geoscientists measure about 20 billion tons of mud and dust entering the ocean every year. Okay. And it accumulates along the bottom. And if you spread it uniformly from shore to shore at a uniform depth, it would be about 400 meters thick. There's a whole lot of reason to believe that uh, the Earth really is only the thousands of years old that Scripture says it is. <laughs> 